everyone, here's a quick helper video on this shape two in our CAD review assignment. And um, this should be a pretty quick sketch because you know all you really have to do here is draw this this cuboid. Right? It's not a cube because the you know it's 1.5 and that's 2.25 or 1.75. So, but it's just a you know it's a rectangular cuboid, and there's a cut here and there's a cut here, right? And so that's all we have to do. And I'm going to draw the, the cuboid first, and then I'm just going to do two little sketches. This one's going to be a square, and that one's a rectangle. And I'll just cut this one all the way through, and I'll cut this one down uh, 1.5, minus 0.5. So I'll cut this one down one inch. So let me get this out of the way and get going here. So I will create, I mean, on shape, and I will create a new document, and I'm just going to call it, uh, CAD review, CAD review part, or rather shape, shape two. Okay, CAD review shape two. And I think I'll just draw on the top plane, look right at it, sketch on it. And like I said, I'm just going to grab this rectangular tool and draw a rectangle. Let's see. I'm looking down on the top of it. So this dimension is 2.25 inches. And that other dimension is 1.75 inches. I'm just looking right at the drawing here. 1.75. There's a general shape, and it's 1.5 inches thick, 1.5 inches in, in total depth. So I'm going to just extrude it. 1.5. And so there's our there's our, you know, there's our rectangular cuboid, and I just have to put a square here and cut it, and a rectangle here and cut it, and we're done. All righty. So this square, I'm looking at the picture. It really is a square. It's 0.75 by 0.75. I will sketch on the surface, and I will grab that, and I will just do a little square here. If I'm not taking care to place it yet, I'll place it in just a moment. It's a three-quarter inch square. So it's 0.75, 0. Oops. 0.75. So there's my square to the right size, but looking at my drawing, I see that it's this, you know, it's it's half an inch from the edge. From here to here should be half an inch. Let's see what it really is and move it. If it, if it is half an inch, it's luck. If it's not, it's a little bit short. 0 0.5. Bam. So now that's in the right place. Just cut it. Let's do remove material. Um, it goes all the way through, and the block is more than one inch, <clears throat> so let's not do blind. Let's do through all. And there, there's our first cut. And we just have to do another cut over here. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Um, let's see here. So going, let's see, we have to just do some subtraction to get this thing's dimensions. It's not tricky, we just have to do it. All right, so for example, you know, what is the width of this cut? Well, that 0.5 is up and down, that's not the width of the cut. Um, or, or it may be, but that's not what, what this is labeled as, that that 0.5 goes with this dimension here. So what we have here is, well, there's the height, right? So this whole height of the block is 1.5, and this section here is 0 0.5. That makes this, this, that makes this cut out one inch tall. Right? So we'll extrude to one inch once we draw a rectangle up here. And what are the dimensions of the rectangle? Well, let's see. This thing is 1.75 in length total. And here's three, here's 0.75 of it. So that leg there is one inch, right? That's a one inch leg right there. And then going across, let's see, all the way across is two and a quarter inches. And I, I've got, I've accounted for, let's see, 0. 0.5 plus 0. 0.75 is 1.25. And 1.25 plus another 0. 0.5 there is 1.75. Yeah, so this is from here to here is 1.75. So this is another half inch to get to 2.25. So so that's just a half inch cut. Now all I do is I draw on the surface again, look right at the surface I'm working on, and I click on it and I hit sketch. I grab my corner rectangle tool, and from this corner I just drag a rectangle any old size, and I'm gonna change it to what I need it to be. I got pretty close, that's 0 0.5 by my subtraction a moment ago. And the other one is simply one, I think. Yeah, that's just one. 
And there's my other rectangle. Um, but this one doesn't get cut all the way through. It just gets cut through one inch. So let's go to extrude. I think the default is one inch, but it's adding material. So let's remove one inch of material, accept it, and we are done with drawing this thing. But don't forget, what you have to do is uh, take it a step farther, go to here, and create a drawing file. You probably have this as your default, the A paper, and what you do is you insert what you just drew and add dimensions. I'm gonna be really quick about this. I probably won't do the whole thing. I'm just gonna add part one. And I'm gonna put the isometric so this is a front view. I'm going to put the front view right here. That's where front views go. And this should be the ISO. Yep, there's the isometric view. I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to, and this will be the top view up there. And for this block, that is all I need. There are no hidden features on the back that I have to dimension or anything like that. Uh, what I want to do now is, of course, you know, right click on this thing. Um, what I want to do is, oops, sorry, clicking around too much here. I just added something I did not mean to. Let me get out of there. I'm just trying to right click on this. There it is. And I will um, show shaded view. And then just to remind you, you want to put dimensions down here. I'm going to grab a dimension tool and, for instance, you know, this line here. That's one inch, right? But from here to here is 1.75 inches. Notice I'm putting the dimensions away from the edge of the paper, not out here. Right? And so you go through and you dimension everything you everything I need to know. I just we just looked at that, right? Um, actually, that's the height of the cut, right? So we're looking. This is the this is the front view. So that's also one inch, um, and um, Let's see what else we have. The, the height of the whole thing. So from here to here, that's one and a half inches. Uh, this cut here, from here to here, this cut is, I missed it, escape. Um, the cut, that's, that's that front cut right there. We're looking at, you know, our, our eyeballs over here looking at the front. And so that, that's the cut here, that cut. It's uh, three quarters of an inch wide, so on and so forth. So, I, you know, I'm not going to sit here and do all the numbers I need, but I'm getting pretty close. I'm getting pretty close here, and uh, this is what you're going to submit, the multi-view drawing, once it's done. All right, so that's it for shape two. That is it for shape two. Onward in another video to the other shapes that, that we have, uh, that I've chosen for you to draw.